In this video, we are going to understand as to how metals react with water. So the reaction with water can be classified into two categories. One, that of metals and the second, that of non-metals. Okay. Now non-metals is fairly easy because they do not react with water. Okay. Now metals again can be classified into two categories. Some metals like copper, gold, silver, all these are metals, right? I mean, if you throw water on them, what will happen? If you throw water on gold, if you throw water on silver, or keep them with the, nothing happens. Right? So there is nothing which is going to happen when you put copper, gold or silver with water. But for most of the metals, for most of the metals, what happens is that when metals react with water, they will put in metal oxide, they will create metal oxide plus hydrogen. When I say hydrogen, I mean hydrogen gas or they will produce hydrogen gas plus they will produce metal hydro oxide. Now if you consider the case of sodium plus water, we know the chemical formula of water is 2H2O. Okay. And sodium is Na. When sodium reacts with water, it produces sodium hydroxide. plus hydrogen. So this is H2 plus 2 NaOH which is sodium hydroxide which is this particular case. Okay. There is one thing which happens very often, which is in the case of iron. I mean, if you see, if there is something of iron and you pour water on it, the water is going to settle on this thing. And after some point in time, this iron will start getting brownish. This brownish thing is known as corrosion. Okay? What is corrosion? Corrosion is basically when iron reacts with water plus the moisture. I mean, when this water falls on it, this iron is lying in open, these three things react together and the process is known as corrosion. So what happens is that corrosion is basically nothing but some part of this iron which is here. Iron, it gets eaten away. Right? So this eating away of part of the metal which happens because there is no atmospheric gases is known as Corrosion. And this you would have very often seen in the railway tracks. If you see all these railway tracks which are there laid out, normally never will this iron be grayish in color. It will always be a slightly, not much, but maybe slightly brownish. And more so at least for the portion on which the train does not run. So let's say on the sides it will be brownish.
So that's the reaction of water with metals and non-metals.